Here's how you can make this distorted photocopy effect here in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this image as a reference. This is my artboard size. And I'm gonna right click on the layer, convert to smart object. Let's go to the filter, select filter gallery. And first I'm gonna go to the sketch and select the reticulation. I'm gonna go with these settings. Let's go down, click on the plus, open up the texture and select the grain. I'm gonna decrease the grain to 20, contrast 35. Let's go down, click on the plus again. And this time I'm gonna go to the sketch and select the half tone pattern, make sure it's on the dot. I'm gonna increase the size, so I'm around five and increase the contrast all the way to 100%. And about least I'm also gonna add another plus and let's go to the artistic and select film grain. And here I'm gonna decrease the intensity, increase the highlight area and also the grain. Now if you wanna customize this further, you also can go back to the grain here and play around with the intensity and this way you can get like different results. But right now I'm gonna go with my settings, click OK. From here, let's go back to the filter and select the liquify. And we're gonna go and select this tool right here, which is the push left tool. So what this does is basically if you drag it, you can see it is going to enlarge these pixels and stretch them out. So I'm thinking to stretch them from here and all you need to do is just drag it and drag it and drag it until it is going to distort it and stretch it out all the way. I'm also thinking to add some more in these areas. And I pretty much destroyed all the half tones, click okay. And let's go and right click again on the layer Convert to Smart Object again, and I'm gonna select the Rectangle Marquee Tool and select the half of the face where these half tones are getting stretched. So I'm gonna go and select this side, press Control C, Control V. Let's go and select the bottom layer again, and I'm gonna go and select a line from here. I'm gonna press Control C, Control V, and I'm gonna select the top one, and I'm gonna move it on the right, press and hold Shift, and I'm gonna select the bottom layer, move it to the left, and I'm gonna select the middle layer with that line, press Control T, and here I'm gonna stretch the pixels to the right side and to the left side as well. Okay, so make sure that you're on the stretched layer and press Control T, and let's go and click on this Transform Tool, click, and we're gonna go here to the Warp, and I'm gonna select the Wave. Now if you go here, you can see we got a square. So if you drag the square up and down, you can manipulate this wavy effect. So I'm thinking to drag it like this. I think this is enough. And I'm gonna go and click on the checkbox. If it's not aligning perfectly, you can press Control T and go and click on this warp again. And you also can pull it with the mouse. So you can distort it however you want. I'm gonna select all three layers, press and hold Shift, select them all, right click, convert to Smart Object. And up at least we're gonna go to the Filter, Filter Gallery. And I'm gonna go and delete these filters, click on delete, delete, delete. And let's go to the distort, select the ocean ripple. And with this one, we're gonna distort it even better, make it more grungier. I'm gonna decrease the values and click OK. And that's how I make this grungy scan effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.